Speaking of Don't women, fact check me. I have two kick ass women this week. So, um, one of them is I already did the kick ass lady because I got really excited about it. And then the second one like popped up. So, I only have like a sentence about our second one. So, I'll do her first. But on December 31st, the Red Sox hired Bianca Smith as a minor league coach, making her the first black woman to coach in pro baseball history. Yay! That's crazy. And the fact that it's the Red Sox. (laughs) Yeah. Someone in Boston is dying. Yeah. People were like, well, you know, they were the last ones to integrate. I'm like, okay, well, that was like 60 years ago, and maybe they're trying to make up for it now. So let's praise them instead of. And that's why it's giving me life that it's the Red Sox doing it. Good job, Red Sox. Trying to. The team is like, like, they're not fucking around. (laughs) Like, they have Black Lives Matter, Matter banner. Words are hard. Um, yes. On their yeah, no, like, no, definite, definite Boston. props on the team. Stop your racism. And and for them to take this extra step and like, despite where they are and the environment where they are, to take it and say, Which team this is, is do we know? Huh. Um, I feel like I should. I feel like I just saw the tagline of like a minor league team. I don't feel like I saw which one it was. Level. Um, let me no be okay. Here it is. Um, primarily work with infielders in Fort Myers, Florida. Whatever. I think I'm reading the same exact article as you. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, damn, she went to Dartmouth? Shit. She She's smart as hell. <laughs> okay. She played softball. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it says. That's crazy. No, because, okay, so that's a different article. The first article I saw on her was a New York Times article. And you know how they do all that? Like, you have to have a su- subscription to read this. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're only semi-pro. We're not professional. So okay. I don't have a New York Times per- if subscription. If it's behind a paywall, yes. we will just never know. <laughs> we will but, find uh, out on Reddit next week, I guess. So, um the rookie team that's in Fort Myers, Florida. Also, it doesn't really matter, but she is beautiful. Like, that is not a prerequisite to be a coach or to be a woman. But she is gorgeous if you look at her pictures. She's we gorgeous. We um, stand women that let people know that you can be pretty and like sports. It's yes. this cool thing. You can have more than one personality trait, people. You can have them all. Newsflash. Oh. I bet she back. can make sandwiches and like sports at the same time, too. I, I really wanted them to have like a very cool name, but they're called the Red Sox. <laughs> so maybe they did tell us what team it was. They were, the, just, they were like, guys, Coast the Red Sox. We, Red Sox. So that's exciting, I guess. I wanted them to be like the Fire Frogs or, so you know, like not saying, Fire Frogs. Because we could buy merch if it wasn't that Red Sox. A black woman. Is a yeah. The Red Sox. I like it. I have one um, Red Sox shirt, and that's enough. So, sorry. Oh, that's right. Your whole in-law thing. Yeah. Um, listen if to you all the Red Sox and more. Yankees. And uh, at that moment in my life, I went with Red Sox. Well, we all, all make mistakes. mistakes. Yeah. Anyway, so my other kick-ass lady... On December 30th, Becky Hammond became the first woman to coach an NBA team, leading the San Antonio Spurs after Greg Popovich was ejected in the first half. So the Spurs still lost to the Lakers, but only 121 to 107. I was really hoping they won, but it was on LeBron James's birthday. And like in his press conference, of course, they were like, oh, happy birthday. And he was like, hey, shout out to Becky Heyman. Oh. Like, so, like, he was giving her props and, like, this is a huge move. And, like, he said, though, she deserves it. Like, he brought up, like, her um, pedigree and stuff. Yeah. So, she was hired. She's 43 years old. She was an all-star guard in the WNBA, and she played 16 seasons for the New York Liberty and the San Antonio Stars, as well as overseas a little bit. She was on the Stars roster when she got a knee injury, and then she began spending time with the Spurs, kind of like thinking, okay, I got this knee injury. I'm a little bit older. I might have to transition careers. 
Um, in 2014, the Spurs hired her to a full-time assistant coach position. So she broke one barrier then. Mm -hmm. um, in 2018, she was invited to interview for the Milwaukee Bucks head coaching job, which she did not get. But mm -hmm. she was invited to interview for it. Um, and then in 2020, she became the first woman to act as a head coach for an NBA team. So it was just because the actual head coach got ejected, but it was still a woman on the sidelines coaching. And that's what LeBron said. It was really cool to hear her like yelling out plays and, you know, screens and like all these different things yeah. like to hear a female voice doing it on the sidelines. Yeah. is really cool. Um, yeah. And to hear those props from, Fucking LeBron, LeBron James. James. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. King support queens. Yes, exactly. we've said it a million times. There's and a really he literally cool... is King James. So right there you go. There is a really cool picture. I retweeted it from the pod account one day this week, but I mean it's just a pit a picture of her with like three or four players around her, and she's just talking. I mean she's just coaching. Yeah. Like she's coaching the game. It's not a br groundbreaking picture, except for. It's a groundbreaking picture. Seven words. And it's, like, really cool. And that's the thing, like, I guess, I'm, like, I just got goosebumps. Is like, I hope that one day, like, our daughters are doing a podcast or something. And it's, like, it's not weird. Like, no they're deal. just announcing, yeah. oh, it's a change. And Ashlyn became the coach of this team. And Marl is an assistant over here. And it's just mentioned, yeah. like, how we talk about, oh, Doc Rivers is back over with the 76ers. And, like, yeah. just, like, how it's just another comment, you know, yeah. about whatever. And it, yeah. we don't have to mention it's the first woman or it's the first black woman or the first Asian American manager or something like that. You know, like, yeah. it's just... It's normal. what it is. And, and, I think, the fact, and the fact that people were mentioning kind of, it was interesting to me that he mentioned her pedigree, like almost like he was cutting it off before he even had to hear it. Like yeah. she is well qualified. Don't even come at me. If anybody else had played 16 years of pro ball, like you wouldn't even question that. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. say a word. Stepping on the floor. I forget or, who it was on Twitter that said it, but they said, for every woman that gets to a position of power, I assume she's three times as qualified as any man that would get yes. there. And I was like, yeah, that's a good uh, yeah. rule of thumb. <laughs> because it's true. Um, can I also shout out, uh, I know we're not a soccer pod, but DC United also hired a black woman as the president of business operations, Danita okay. Johnson. Um, when did that happen? Oh, the 22nd. So right before Christmas. And also gorgeous. Also a badass. Like, and I feel like there might have been some more news the past couple of weeks, but it's just been really crazy. But 2020, despite everything that it was, was so good for women in sports. Yep. And obviously with Kamala Harris, you know, women made history in 2020. Like, despite all the bad, there was definitely some good. And I know, like, my daughter's always going to remember more... it. And all, of, like, little girls are going to see this. And it's going to be normal to them. more women in the House of Representatives than ever before in Congress. Women of color, for, from both parties, LGBTQ which, is, which members, is a good like, thing, like, for everybody to be embracing it. And... Yeah, I think it's great for our daughters and our mm -hmm. nieces and whoever to be seeing this. And um, the world is more, diverse, so we need to reflect it more in positions of power. Right. And like you said, every every woman who we speak about is definitely qualified. And I think it's I think it's almost cool that like I missed some of these things because I was off of social media while I was on vacation for the most part I was off um I tried to be off as much as I possibly could be um but um how cool to miss like I mean not cool but like to miss some of these milestones because there's been so many in the past yeah, yeah two weeks it's been a lot it's just that. so it's awesome and crazy and Let's keep that energy yes. this year, please. Keep it up. 